What's up everybody, it's the Legend of W here, and I am back in It Moves. So, in the last video, this little kid uh, basically started having some nightmares, and things are not getting any better as he continues on. So, yeah, with every night, it's just worse. Anyways, uh, we are in a much more evil place, very evil looking place, and I, I don't know what's going to happen. But this is not looking good. Some kind of spirit just does not like him. We're back in the same area, but this time I see that thing is kind of... Mm, a banner on a long pole. It's too old and torn to make out details. I, I don't know what's happening, but... Uh, okay. Uh, wait, can I comment on a huge skull? Okay, never mind. That huge skull is not looking nice. Whoa. Okay, I imagine that, uh, I imagine that huge skull is gonna kill me or something. Oh boy, things are, things are looking bad. Ooh. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do something. Wait, let me read this. The door is firmly shut. Oh, I thought that was, a uh, text. Never mind. Ah. Uh, I don't know what to do. Do we... Do we just continue? Oh. Uh-oh. The eyes are flashing even quicker. Whoa. Did it eat him? I think that skull ate the kid. Oh boy! Um... Yeah, that... that Evil spirit is a demon. I, I always knew that. Some kind of altar. Ooh. Whatever that spirit is just wants to consume the kid. Wants to kill him. A, a, a picture of some kind of green landscape. The picture is in too bad shape to make out. Any details. Hmm. No axis. Okay, this definitely looks like a Silent Hill world. <laughs> Oh, yes, it does. Looks like something used to pour out of these. Yeah, blood, huh? What do you think? I think so. Uh, long, a large fan circulating the stuffy air. I have no access to that area either. Okay. Wow, okay, gotta go somewhere else. Let's go upward this time. What in the world? Some kind of machine. Okay, so I gotta make that machine work or something? Okay, that's a switch. I don't know what it did. And... Hmm. Okay, the machine's not working still. I don't know... what we're supposed to find, but... I know I opened something. Oh, maybe uh, one of the doors from... The other area? I, I mean, the where I, where I just passed with the locked doors? I, I'm not sure. What is up with this? It looks almost like the lights on the runway of, at airports. Hmm. Something looks suspicious about that spot. What? It... No. 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 Uh. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Uh, a creepy mask. Yeah, definitely. Alright, I open somewhere else. Uh. What? Oh, hey, another face. Is it just going to stare at me continuously? Okay, it's smiling at me. <laughs> I'm moving back. <laughs> oh, oh, that was creepy. Okay, uh, so it must have been that mask. Oh my god, yeah, the mask uh, is right here. Oof. Okay, time to uh, find the other door and, and get out of here. Oh god, I just noticed. <laughs> it's right there. 
Oh my god, that is so creepy. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Now, the last door is going to be open, right? Oh, blood. There's a red liquid pouring out. Yeah, uh, that that's blood. Just straight blood. And we all know it. Do I start the machine? No. We just gotta go all the way back. Uh, I gotta brace my, myself for this. It's not open. What the? Okay. I know it's still staring at me. Oh. What the? What is that? Oh no! Oh no! No! Oh my god, that's not it. What was that noise? What, was it the machine? Do I have to go back to the machine? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of a little lost. Oh, here? I think this time we, uh, gotta go back now, I think. Uh, oh boy, is it open? It's open! Okay! Hold on, let me... Okay, no, I can't look at that. Okay. Now, what did that do? What exactly did that do? Get the picture, no details. Machine? The machine's not working. Do I go back to the altar? What in the world? Okay, um... I guess I gotta go around or something. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, that thing was gonna kill me! Oh, oh no! I wasn't supposed to touch it! No? Yes? I don't... Okay. I, I guess the kid died. It's funny how certain words can remain hidden from your mind, no matter how blatant or obvious. They are. Uh, one word came to me that night, lying there in the darkness alone, frightened, aware of. A rotten change in the atmosphere. A thickening of the air as if something had displaced it. As, of, uh, as I heard the first casual twist of the bed sheets below. The first anxious increase of my heartbeat at the realization that something was once again in the bottom bunk. That word. A word which had been sent into exile filtered up through my consciousness breaking free of all repression, gasping for air, screaming, etching, and carving itself into my mind. Ghost. As though, as this though came to me, uh, I noticed that my unwelcome visitor had ceased moving. The bedsheets lay calm and dormant, but they had been replaced by something far more hideous. Okay. A slow, rhythmic, rasping breath heaved and escaped from the thing below. I could imagine its chest rising and falling with each sordid, wheezing, and garbled breath. I shuddered and hoped beyond all hope that it would leave without occurrence. The house lay as it had the previous night in a thick blanket of darkness. Silence prevailed all but for the perverted breath of my as yet unseen bunkmate. I lay there terrified. I just wanted this thing to go, to leave me alone. What did it want? It wants your soul. <laughs> it wants your soul, <laughs> kid. Then something unmistakably chilling transpired. It moved. Uh-oh. It moved in a way different from before. When it threw itself around in the bottom bunk, it seemed unrestrained, without purpose, almost animalistic. 
for that thing lying there in the darkness, that thing which seemed intent on terrorizing a young boy, calmly and nonchalantly sat up. Oh god, that is even scarier. Its labored breathing had become louder. Not Now only a mattress and a few flimsy wooden slats separated my body from the unearthly breath below. I lay there, my eyes filled with tears, a fear which mere words cannot relate to you, or anyone else course through my veins. Wow, this is insanely scary. I, I would have not have believed that this fear could have been heightened, but I was so wrong. I imagine that this thing would look like, uh, I imagine what this thing would look like sitting there listening from below my mattress, hoping to catch the slightest hint that I was awake. Imagination then turned into an unnerving reality. It began to touch the wooden slats which my mattress sat on. Oh god. Uh, it seemed to caress them carefully, running what I imagined to be fingers and hands <laughs> across the surface of the wood. Oh, oh! Then, with great force, it prodded angrily between two slats into the mattress. Even though the padding, even through the padding, it felt as though something had viciously stuck their fingers into my side. I let out an almighty cry, and the wheezing, shaking, and moving thing in the bunk below replied in kind but kind by violently vibrating the bunk as it had done the night before. Small flakes of paint powdered into my blanket from the wall as the frame of the bed scrapped along it backwards and forwards. Whoa. Once again I was bathed in light and there stood my mother, loving, caring as she always was. With a comforting hug and calming words which eventually subdued my hysteria. Of course, she asked what was wrong, but I could not say. I dared not to say. I simply said one word over and over and over again. Nightmare. Yeesh, that gives me the creeps. This pattern of events continued for weeks, if not months. Whoa. Night after night, I would awaken to the sound of rustling sheets. Each time I would scream so as not to provide this abom abomination with time to prod and feel for me. With each cry, the bed would shake violently, stopping with the arrival of my mother, who would spend the rest of the night in the bottom bunk seemingly unaware of the sinister force torturing her son nightly. Along the way, I managed to feign illness a few times and come up with other less than truthful reasons for sleeping in my parents' bed. For more often than not, I would be alone for the first few hours of each night in that place. The room where the light from outside did not sit right, along with that thing. With time, you can become desensitized to almost anything, no matter how horrific. I had come to realize that, for whatever reason, this thing could not harm me when my mother was present. I'm sure the same would have been said for my father, but as loving as he was, waking him from sleep was almost impossible. Waking me, on the other hand, <laughs> was no trouble at all, uh, thanks to the nightmares. Wow, it's pretty disturbing. Damn, I feel bad for the kid. Chapter 4, Anger Overload. <laughs> Overload! What in the world's gonna happen? What, is the kid gonna finally get mad and, and destroy this demon? Because, I mean, this isn't gonna stop until that demon goes away. Alright, so we're stuck in a, a mansion something and it's kind of getting a little loud here the painted glass depicts some religious man I guess what is this a hook hangs from the wall a piece of meat hangs to dry from it whoa whoa okay just an earthquake 
Earthquake? Uh, okay. Who are you? The painted glass depicts some kind of religious man. Okay, the same thing. Let's continue. Oh, what is this? Whoa, what was that? Okay, uh, what is, what is this thing supposed to be? The painted glass depicts a scene from the Bible. Okay. Th this is creeping me out. Okay, it's, it's a little, oh my god, I think that's a spider? That has got to be a spider. Yeah, don't, don't talk to the spider. Yeah, forget the spider. Uh, various jars with disgusting stuff inside. Okay, we just gotta keep moving. Just keep moving. Uh, another one. I guess we gotta be very careful with any enemies or whatever. It's a big pool, but I'd rather not use it. Yeah. Anything about that? Okay, no, nothing. Alright, kid, come on. Time to defeat the demon if, if we can. Uh, looks like a map. Uh, pick up the map? Whoa. Okay, the picture depicts a couple of men standing in front of a car. Hmm, could that be something related to this demon? Okay, some dead meat. Uh, torn up meat. Oof. This is... What is this, the basement or something? What is that sound? I'm locked in. Ah. Uh, uh, oh god, the, the music stopped. Oh, oh boy. Can I get out? Oh my god, the ceiling! Oh no, the, the floor? What the? That, that's some really bad stuff. This, these nightmares are terrible. Whoa. Okay, I apparently made it here. And there are three children. One that <laughs> looks great. Ooh. What in the world was that noise? Oh my god, look at this. Ugh. What? Every time I pass by them, that sound... What does that mean? Okay, this, this is just creepy. Do we just keep going? Oh my god, I saw its mouth. Oh my- yeah, I, I can see... Oh. I didn't notice it before. Oh, hey, it has a mustache now. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, ooh, no sounds. Whoa, why did this one get bigger? Or is it just me? Okay, they, they all look like they're getting bigger. Or, or getting closer. I am genuinely creeped out. Yeah, this one here in particular is getting really close to me. Okay, babies. Yeah, calm down, babies. Uh, okay, that disturbing sound, I don't know what that is. This is, this is making me really uncomfortable. Really creepy. God, how long do I have to keep doing this? Ooh. Something bad must have happened to whatever that baby is. I... What in the world? Well, looks like I'm dead. <laughs> Kill him! Just fight him! Do the... Okay, uh, oh, that, his mom, but oh, why is the screen all, oh no, his mom left him. My greatest fears were realized in the winter. The days grew short, 
and the longer nights merely provided this wretch with more opportunities. It was a difficult time for my family. My grandmother, a wonderfully kind and gentle woman, had deteriorated greatly since the death of my grandfather. My mother was trying her best to keep her in the community uh, as long as possible. However, dementia is a cruel and degenerative illness, robbing a person of their memories one day at a time. Soon she recognized none of us, and it became clear that she would need to be moved from, moved from her house to a nursing home. Before she could be moved, my grandmother had a particularly difficult few nights, and my mother decided that she would stay with her. As much as I love my grandmother and felt nothing but anguish at her illness, to this day I feel guilty that my first thoughts were not of her, but of what my nightly visitor may do should it become aware of my mother's absence. Her presence being the one thing which I was sure was protecting me from the full horror of this thing's reach. I rushed home from school that day and immediately wrenched the bedsheets and mattress from the lower bunk, removing all of the slats and placing an old desk, a chest of drawers, and some chairs which we kept in a cupboard where the bottom bunk used to be. I told my father I was making an office, which he found adorable, <laughs> but I would be damned if I'd give that thing a place to sleep for one more night. As darkness approached, I lay there knowing my mother was not in the house. Oh man, just watching that same scene over and over again. Oh man, I feel so bad for the kid. I did not know what to do. My impulse was to sneak into her jewelry box and take a small family crucifix, which I had seen there before. While my family were not very religious, at that age I still believed in God and hoped that somehow this would protect me. Although fearful and anxious while gripping the crucifix under my pillow, tightly in one hand, sleep eventually came and as I drifted off to dream, or nightmare in this case, I hoped that I would awaken in the morning without incidents. Unfortunately, that night was the most terrifying of all. Wow. Th th this is just not looking good for our, our boy here. Chapter 5. Urban Explorer. Wow, I don't know what to say. This is, this is just... I feel really bad for this kid. And you know what? I'm just going to save the game. And I'll leave it at that, everybody. So stay tuned for more of... It moves. And whatever this it is, I, we all know it's a demon. I mean, come on. It, it, it makes sense. This demon is trying to consume this kid. Or maybe this kid is just crazy. I, I have no clue what's going on. But anyways, stay tuned for more. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know with a thumbs up. And of course, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button. Smash the bell button. Smash the like button smash the subscribe button do all of that by smashing it and i will see you all in the next video peace